All right. Welcome, traders. It is Monday, uh, November 27, 2023, the Monday after the Thanksgiving long weekend break. Let's jump into trading and see what happened in the markets today. Let's uh, jump into the uh, trading platform and let's take a quick look. Let's pull up uh, let's pull up SPY here and take a look. And we were down just fractionally on the session today. Uh, SBX down $8.91. So SPY down $0.82. Cents. A mere 0.18 of a percentage drop. Uh, so pretty much just flat. If we really look uh, closely here, not a whole lot has changed, except you know, with this little bit of a drop here, you still remain over the 3 ATR bar uh, here. So you're remaining... Oh, you know, over uh, overbought over to three ATR. If you look down here, MACD continues to fall uh, here. So as we're even though we're moving sideways, uh, you got MACD starting to uh, to tip over. Uh, RSI just continues to you know just move along in this uh, overbought territory, but maybe starting to tip down a bit here. Let's see if we start to break below this and get any kind of a decent sell off going. However, if you look at the weekly chart here, still pretty strong on the weekly. Uh, MACD is rising. RSI is rising, although getting a little flat right in here. Uh, and, you know, not overbought at all. Uh, we got this gap to fill uh, down here. We'll see if that gap can get filled or if that becomes a little bit of a support level uh, and we bounce higher. I'm all good if we go higher. I'm okay if we start to sell off. I'm okay either way. Uh, with the positioning we have, we're pretty delta neutral. So uh, we can go up a little, we can go down a little bit as long as we don't rock it in one direction for too long. And that's what we had done for quite a while. So it's good to get this little break in here, just giving positions a little time to breathe. Uh, and you have two ways of, of doing that. Uh, you can uh, pull back to move higher, or you can just consolidate sideways and look and let time factor into the discussion and then break higher again. I still think we are a bit overbought here on the SPY. If we take a look at the Qs, pretty much an unchanged day here. Not much uh, different. MACD rolling over, RSI starting to fall, and technically on the session hit right at the 70 mark. I don't know if that's a magical mark or not, but uh, it's what most people are using for an overbought or oversold level, the 70-30. And let's see if we break below that. Just moving sideways. However, we did tag today um, that uh, three ATR level on the daily. On the weekly, we're at the top of the Bollinger Band, riding that higher, and things still look strong. You know, so we had a squeeze back in here uh, for this uh, session. We had a squeeze here, and then we managed to break out to the upside on that squeeze. And if we're taking a look at IWM, uh, taking a look at the Russell just really pent up uh, in this uh, ascending wedge uh, that we have here. Pretty much the same type of a scenario. I and mean, you're not to an overbought level uh, like you are on the other two indexes, but you still have weekly looking decent uh, and the daily starting to roll over just fractionally. You know, it was good sideways movement here. This thing had really just been in a range now for about two weeks uh, overall. All right, uh, take a quick look at the uh, put call. Oh, I'm sorry, the percentage of companies above their 50-day uh, moving average still remains in an overbought territory uh, here and still remains up about 73. So when we're not at an extreme level like a 90, but we are up there. Uh, you would expect that potentially we could see some decent reversal uh, coming here, but there's so many catalysts to get you know, more into the market here. So I think even though you're overbought, you know, money is just flowing in. And right now you just, you know, got to let the money flow uh, happen and you just, uh, you know, trade what you see in front of you, not what you think is going to happen. That put call ratio, uh, pretty big, uh, ugly day uh, last week and down a bit today. So this thing continues to drop overall. I mean, it was up fractionally today, but that you can only go up after a big day like that. Uh, VIX, Small move up, nothing major here on the VIX, getting close to oversold on VIX. This is as low as it's been in two two to three years. Uh, I think getting long some VIX here, not the worst thing for you, but there's really no good way to trade that, in my opinion. Some of you will put in comments that you have great ways to trade the VIX. 
I think buying calls is expensive and I think it's tough uh, right here to do that. And I think uh, buying anything that's expensive is not a great, uh, not a great plan. We look at the uh, U.S. dollar that continues to drop. So uh, down a little bit more today. So U.S. Do dollar is dropping to that three ATR, just riding it south right now, getting to an oversold level, but uh, on RSI, uh, but MACD continues to show maybe some weakening of this sell off. Uh, and really, we're nowhere different than we were just three trading sessions ago. We're at the same level uh, here. And on the weekly, though, uh, just continuing to to drop. So dollar dropping, good for the market. So even though the market may be over, you know, overbought, you got the dollar dropping. You've got rates dropping. So TNX and the ten year, uh, you know, pulled back a little bit more today to the two ATR level. Even though MACD is signaling maybe. Maybe we're bottoming a little bit in here. Uh, the weekly still looks ugly, like we could go down quite a bit more on this. I don't really know how far this 10-year is going to go. Uh, but, you know, rates are dropping, dollars dropping, all good positives for the market. Uh, TLT up again today, so up to, uh, you know, 90, you know, 91 and change. All good, back to the level that it was sitting at uh, back in September. Uh, so we're right back to the September uh, area here where I think uh, you've got some gaps to fill. Uh, we'll see if uh, this turns into any kind of a support here, or do we just continue to uh, improve uh, RSI rising, but MACD falling. So just a really a strange bunch of technicals uh, here uh, overall. That would mean uh, the Aussie dollar having a good day today with the dollar dropping. Aussie dollar up, British pound up slightly, Canadian dollar down just a fraction. Uh, 6E here up on the session as well. And if we're looking at bonds, uh, still doing pretty well, really in this consolidation uh, phase in here. So we'll we'll keep an eye on it. No different than what we were just talking about on, on TLT. Good recovery. Great for us. This is how we're playing it with 112 trades on ZB. In fact, that trade is up 80% now in seven days. Not too shabby. Uh, so good way to play it. Uh, while everybody else is waiting for 80% sometime next year, we're up 80% in a couple of days. Uh, all right, so ZN, pretty much the exact same thing, uh, which is the 10-year note. Uh, taking a look at oil, oil off uh, fractionally today as we head into the OPEC meeting this week. I think they're just trying to wrangle a couple stragglers in the OPEC plus nations, uh, get them on board with price uh, or with production cuts, I should say, which should buoy uh, the pricing of oil in here. Uh, good day for us today, though. We, you know, just really with oil only down, what, 0.7%, uh, you know, down 52 cents. A good day today. We were up actually a couple, you know, over $1,000 or so in our oil trades. Uh, so good, liking oil where we are here. MACD continues to try to improve. RSI just struggling to move sideways on the daily and like everything else, the weekly is just not agreeing. So with uh, with oil, the weekly is heading down while the daily is trying to head up, uh, at least on the technicals. And with like the SPX and the NASDAQ, weeklies are heading up and the daily is getting a little bit overdone, uh, so, which is all great stuff. I think if you're a premium seller uh, and you're a theta trader, I think this is beautiful stuff. You just want sideways movement. Uh, you got one fighting to go up, one fighting to go down. You got to love where we are uh, when you're selling strangles and doing some of that work. Uh, taking a look at gold today, gold was up a little bit, uh, up uh, not quite a half a percent on the day. Uh, so gold rising a little bit more, trying to break through this downtrend, which it looks like it may be doing. Now we're heading into uh, a little bit more of this particular uh, previous uh, support or resistance level that we failed at one, two, almost three. So is this the magic charm? Do we finally break through this thing? Uh, you got MACD and RSI rising on the daily, which is good and on the weekly. So I think the dollar can be heading higher. Uh, so I think that's uh, good. And if we're taking a look at oil volatility, uh, it uh, dropped or it rose fractionally on the day. So oil volatility is still good. Uh, so I think there's still good volatility in oil uh, and the gold volatility up just fractionally, still fairly low and fairly muted. 
Uh, but I like where we are on gold volatility. I think we can get some more volatility going on that overall. All right, copper. Uh, copper dropping on the session today. It's all good. We actually had today a copper 112 trade expiring for a full 100% winner in the tail. Love, love seeing that. Uh, we'll look to see if we get into some more copper here. Uh, again, you've got weekly pushing higher, MACD, RSI, and daily pushing lower, MACD and RSI. Again, these are beautiful things from a strangle perspective. You're sitting right in the middle of these bands on the weekly. I really like where we are uh, there. If we take a look at uh, lean hogs uh, today, pretty much unchanged, up a fraction uh, on the session. I think a good spot in here. If we get any kind of a bounce, I think it might be a good a good trade opportunity. And now we did see uh, live cattle futures dropping significantly today. So we've had a couple big candle days where we've seen some bounces. But after the big candle uh, back last Friday, we continued some downside. Even though it tried to bounce early, then it uh, dropped below the three ATR uh, here as well on the uh on the daily and you're close to uh, the three ATR sitting about 166 and change on uh, the weekly. So we are a bit oversold. And if you look at RSI here, you're definitely in significant oversold territory. And MACD is heading lower. Uh, so new lows and then new lows here. Uh, so it, it is uh, giving you some confirmation. Uh, we don't see uh, RSI uh, on the reversal move yet, uh, and uh, the weekly is still pretty weak. All right, a uh, quick look at Nat Gas as well. Uh, Nat Gas down just fractionally uh, on the session today, but a good candle here uh, at the two ATR. Maybe getting a little overdone on this selling of natural gas. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it is freezing here where I am. Uh, so. If it's gonna, if we're gonna get a little bit of a cold snap, maybe everywhere could be good for natural gas. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, taking a quick look at the sectors uh, for today. What were the major moving sectors? Only three sectors up. You had real estate up. Uh, you had XLY, uh, which is up, which is your consumer discretionary, your Amazon and Tesla. Uh, you also had XLU up. So a weird mix of consumer discretionary utilities and real estate up. Uh, and the only thing is majorly down, oil, everything else was just fractionally down, anywhere from zero to a half a percent. A pretty blah day uh, out there, not a whole lot of volume. Uh, maybe people still on the long holiday vacation, not back yet uh, on the session. Uh, if we take a look at Apple, down fractionally, it's been coming down. MACD, RSI, heading lower on uh, the daily, so it's good. Uh, good indicator of over of uh, of overbought. Uh, Microsoft up on the session today with MACD and RSI trying to tip over, but not nothing strong. Uh, Amazon having a good day. We just saw that in XLY. Uh, so Amazon having a pretty good day today, and I'll just pop up its partner Tesla in the XLY here up as well. Nothing major, small uptrend, just fighting the technicals. I don't see anybody here where the technicals look awesome. Again, weekly pointing up, daily pointing down, a little bit of exhausted in this here, but there still could be some more money coming in. And as we look at NVIDIA, maybe trying to bounce off of this 21 EMA. We'll see. Not, I'm not sold on that yet. We'll see what plays out uh, here. But a lot, of a, a lot of mixed stuff going on, which means for us, just stay on the sidelines with some strangles and let Theta work. All right, uh, let's take a quick look at the account. Uh, that we're in here uh, on the session. We closed with a delta of 185 today, 0 0.06, very delta neutral. Love where we are on our delta. Uh, theta, 13.82, up 0.42%. Um, perfect. Uh, love, love where we are on theta right now. And then uh, the net lick here, uh, 325 uh, on our net lick. So up a fraction on the session uh, nothing, nothing major, and uh, we're still close to all-time highs. We're just moving sideways, like the market is. However, uh, BP usage dropped down to sixty-nine percent. We are using ten percent of our margin uh, here for BIL, so 
that's something to uh, consider as well. Uh, so we're in pretty good shape. Uh, that would mean we're about 59% buying power use. So I think we're in good shape. And then we did close out another daily realized trade, trade today. Uh, so that's uh, pretty good uh, for us. We're, we're in good shape. Another winner for the month. Uh, let's take this thing off. Uh, we don't uh, need to track uh, weekly realized yet. But the monthly realized up $23,000, 113. So another fantastic uh, opportunity this month. And I just started sharing a little bit. I won't go through the whole the whole trade and pieces here, but uh, you know our two core strategies: strangles uh, are up thirty five, almost thirty six thousand this year. Uh, Long term one one twos up about forty six thousand uh, dollars, and the one one twos on futures up twenty one thousand. So if we stuck with those strategies, we'd be okay. We've got some losing strategies on. Uh, well, I think zero DT is a zero DT. No, zero DTE is down. Or no, ZOTT is also up about nine thousand uh, dollars on the year, uh, and then we are down on leap puts. Uh, one of the reasons was we got stopped out on about four or five of them in March on a pretty big sell-off day. We started to recover, and then we we stopped the strategy to plow that money back into uh, some one one two futures trades here. So we rotated out of the leap puts for now uh, until we get our, some buying power back and. Uh, I wanted to keep going farther with 112s on futures. And then spec trades are down primarily due to uh, some strength, uh, not strangles, uh, primarily due to uh, a lot of hedge trades uh, coming off uh, for us and a couple other losers um, that we had, including a meta uh, strangle loser back here as well. Uh, so there's where we are on the accounts. We're in great shape, uh, close to new all-time highs. Things are working well. We're now up to 23,113. And if we look at that, uh, we are, uh, I think now, this is the uh, you know, the largest uh, number one month we have had all year long. So, all right, we'll take care, guys. We'll talk to everybody later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.